Hello and welcome. I'm Alex Hurst from the 21st Co-op at the Data School. I'll be showing us another how-to in Tableau. Today we'll be looking at how to create a pie chart. You see, pie charts seem to have a bad reputation in the Dataviz community. Some of this is fair, but at the end of the day, pie charts are still valuable at showing the part-to-whole relationship. Where some charts can overcomplicate issues, quick insight can be gained from pie charts. So great, now we're in Tableau. We can go through our first few stages to creating this pie chart. So the first step I want us to follow is to go to this marks card and change this from automatic to a pie. This will give us all the options in the marks card for creating the pie chart. Now to create the pie chart, we need one dimension and at least one measure. So firstly, let's bring on region as our dimension and put it onto color. You can see it creates the pie and it brings in four segments, one for each region. But we wanna change the size of each region depending on the measure. So let's pick sales and bring this to angle. You can see if I increase this from standard to entire view, you can see that now the sales determines the size of the segment. Now it's good practice with pie charts to label. So if we hit control and bring region onto label and then follow this up by hitting control and bringing sales onto label, we have the sales and the region labeled. You can also change the orientation. So for example, we can bring west. So it's next to, next to east and you can change it depending up here in the color legend. Now, you might want to compare the size of the entire pie dependent on another measure. So for this example, I'm gonna sw quickly swap out category and region. Now, if we bring off region of our label and bring category onto our label. Now, if we put region onto our columns, we now have a pie for each region. Now, we might wanna compare the size of the entire pie. So in this instance, I'm gonna bring quantity onto size. And you can see it determines the size of the entire pie dependent on quantity. On the right, you can change the size dependent on what the user would like. Now, this is the long way around. I mean, by long way around, I'd say about two minutes, but there is a shorter way to do this. It's always good practice to do it this way that I've shown, but let's go through the shorter way. So as I discussed at the start of the video, to create a pie chart, we need one dimension, so let's bring this onto our rows and at least one measure. So let's bring on sales again onto our columns. Now, if you go to show me in the top right, there is a pie option. You can select that and then you can follow the same processes we did as before. So region onto label with our sum of sales onto label. And again, you can change the orientation as you desire. So thank you everyone for coming to my how-to in Tableau on how to create a pie chart. I hope everyone, including me, is a bit more appreciative of pie charts and we can still find ways to fit them into our business use cases. So if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can click the little bell icon and you can get notified about recent uploads. You can look at our related videos as well, where we have lots of videos on Tableau and Alteryx, even some on Salesforce. Make sure to check out our newest upload as well by Lucas Jennings and he was talking us through the Pareto chart. Thank you.